Bonjour to Lamont. C'est moi, Just B. What's up, everybody? Just be here today, here tonight, wherever you are. I just want to talk a little bit about the Dynasty Warrior 9 Empires demo. I downloaded it off the PlayStation Store with my Japanese PlayStation account. And I just wanted to go over a few things, you know, talk a little bit about it. Well, we still have the time. Uh, English demo from what I've seen. They said it's coming soon. Don't know what that means. But I'm going to take a guess. It might mean it's before this month is over, before we're into 2022. So, that being said, I'd just like to state off some opinions. First, let's start with the Create a Warrior system. It's good. It's really good. I never played Neo 2. Never touched Neo 2. Touched Neo 1 a little, but I assume that system wasn't in there. Because you had a protagonist. So, I really like the new system. However, I'm hoping there's more options in retail. And from what I understand, I think there is. But for now, you can still make like really detailed stuff. But there's like a few options missing, just like a little bit of things. Like I've seen there's a lack of a long beard. If you wanted to make like a Guan Yu or a Huang Zhang type character, your beard, you can't make one long enough, for example. And hopefully they just have more stuff in the full game that isn't DLC down the road. And maybe it'd be cool if we could see some parts from like Neo 2, maybe. I don't know what's in that game, but... Like, if it makes sense, then, like, it makes sense, wouldn't it? If you're using the, C the CAW system, you may as well go all the way. Borrow what you have. I do have a nitpick with CAWs, though. Not being able to have, um... Hit, like, with your movesets. Not being able to change your Muso attacks, for example. I don't think that's a good idea. You should have been able to at least, at least pick your Musos, you know? Your Musos should be, like, because they're defined to characters, right? So why, if you create a character or all, is your moveset completely defined, you know what I mean? For example, they could have had a really good opportunity here with their trigger attack system. Take the trigger attack system, you know, you got your bumper, your R1 button, your trigger, whatever you want to call whatever console system you're on, and you got your four attacks. Like, it'd be cool if you could pick which attacks you wanted. Say you pick the sword. Oh, ooh, better example. We got the flail in the video. Say you pick the flail. Maybe you want one of Dong Zhuo's attacks. Maybe you want one of Sao Ren's attacks in your moveset, you know? Like, Dong Bai, maybe you want her air, her launcher and follow-up. Like, they could have had an opportunity to really open up the movesets. Unfortunately, that was missed by the fact they're, like, singling them all out like this. Now... On to onto the gameplay portion, as you can see. We got some gameplay footage running in the back. I recorded this earlier with my custom character I named Bart. I tried to make him have some very silly facial features, and it doesn't seem possible like it was in the previous game, which is kind of unfortunate. I had a stupid Kingdom storyline, and it was, it was funny to me. Um, let's get right into the combat. The first time I launched this up and did the tutorial, I had... Terrible frame rate issues, and I'm running on a PS4 Pro. Dynasty Warriors 9 is usually pretty good on my PS4 Pro. In the base, it's automatically in action mode when you boot it up for the first time. So I eventually went in and changed it over to movie mode, and it worked. It worked. And then I went and changed it back to action mode the following day, and then it also worked. So I don't know what happens there, and I've seen the problem online. Other people have reported that they've had frame rate issues as well. So that's just the smallest thing, because, you know, they can patch that in. They clearly did it with Dynasty Warriors 9, so they can probably do it with this if need be. Now, not... I'm going to start with a con. 
not having or only having siege battles as offensive and defensive battles I find a little weird you can see on the right corner you got the map there and the way it progresses it doesn't have the linear flow like it did in the past empires games where like your bases connect to each other so you can just go up you can see one of my officers that just did a base by himself you could just go up there and capture it and then it's your base you know what I mean so that's just one thing hopefully the scenario maps are better and they use like more of the battlegrounds in the game that are like kind of unique you know what I mean like the Chur B one doesn't look great so far because it's not on water they could have they could have did something like tried to do something and it had like at least a little bit of elements hopefully they're there we don't know like hopefully the yellow turban maps in and like you know hopefully there's some good stuff that's what I'm hoping for and since we're speaking of this um, we got a we got the base system in this the bases feel really weird as well to me like one way to put it is they don't like old games base the maps and base the bases off the maps they already had and they already had established areas where you could just replace that object with a base it was just like oh I'm gonna do that instead of that and it it seemed really simple just to tweak those maps from the, the mainstay games and put them in the empires games for them it seemed like it was not too much work but there's no healing items, because now they're not like proper bases, so there's no healing item in the center of the bases. And it doesn't even seem like there's a healing item in your main camp. I don't know, I find that weird. Um, I do like, there's a feature I do like, I'm going to point that out right now. I like the stamina bar being absent. Because of the stamina bar being absent, you can actually dash four times in the air. And I do like the running, where you turn into like a hyper sprint like you would in like um, other games. Like the, you know, maybe it's in Hyrule Warriors where you'd run long enough and you'd go into a sprint. But like some of the games had that run and then it turns into a full dash. Maybe I'm thinking of Yakuza games. I don't know what I'm thinking of, but I do like that. And I do like being able to do quad dashes because... You can see with the gameplay, there's some really cheap shit I can get myself up to. Uh, what else do I have to say? The objectives, unfortunately, in this seem like the secret stratagems. Like, once they pull one of them off, it seems like it's game over in the battle. For example. Like in this demo, they get juggernauts if you don't capture three bases within like a very short amount of time. And since I'm playing in the Japanese version, I can't exactly read the text, so I don't really pay attention to when the prompt is starting. And then I pay for it in the end because it doesn't matter, they just destroy you. Like, what is this gameplay? I'm recording with the gameplay in the background just so I have some something in my ears to like, talk about the game. And I probably missed it again, for example. Um... The officer zoom in is still here and it's terrible because it causes you to drop combos and then once the camera comes back from them to you, you just get attacked instantly. Boom. You're fucked. It's, it's very strange. Uh, it's not the greatest feature. I can't believe I'm talking this long about Dynasty Warriors 9 Empires. Um, the officers. I can say I not a fan of the way the AI plays, how they just charge in at you rapidly. Like, it feels like they just come for you. Like, I was watching Lighty play the other day, and they just charge at him. He was trying to do the objectives to stop Juggernauts, and they just charge, and they charge, and they charge. You can see in the gameplay here, uh, I start fighting Lu Lingqi, and then Zhang Liao pops up, and then Lu Bu hits me from behind. And then I get rid of them, and Hua Xiong pops in. I defeat Hua Xiong. And then Lu Lingqi, Xiang Liao, Lu Bu, Hua Xiong. And it just keeps happening. They just keep targeting you. It's really 
not good AI. Like, it makes the game more tedious because it's not like you're out there and you're trying to do the objectives and you're trying to capture the bases and stuff. And it's like Empires. You want to play it a little more strategically. That's like the element. It's the main point of the game. But then, nah. The AI is like, fuck you. Fuck you. I'm going to attack you. Fuck you. You know? So, that is that. Um, also, I just want to, like... Was the created warrior stuff? They look really good, and it looks really great, and it's gonna be cool to see what everybody can come up with. But not having custom units and possibly custom mounts and stuff like that is kind of unfortunate. It was like a cute little feature Dynasty Warriors Eight Empires had. I really liked it, just for the, like the stupidity, because you could like put in the images and like you know I had a picture of John Cena holding a head of John Cena. And it was enlarged, and I always put that on my like, troops and on my banners. Like, it's just silly stuff that made the game, like, funnier to me. So I could, like, play it and have a good laugh. And I always... I, that's, that's just half of it for me. Like, I always like getting to have a little creative fun. Like, stupidly. Um, last but not least on this little talk about my Empire's experience... On Xbox, you can apparently get the demo in English. I've seen videos of people getting it in English. If they can get... <coughs> oh my goodness, excuse me. Uh, if they can get the release when it comes out in Japan, December 22nd, if they can go on the store and they can buy it, and then they but do the same method they did for the demo, and they get the whole game in English, um, I'd kind of laugh a lot. Because that is just funny in a way. Who knows what would actually happen for the other systems. Because it feels like if they can get it on Xbox, possibly, and everybody else knew how, then I feel like they just have to push the release date out. Because it's got to be done to some degree if you can already play it in English on the Xbox. With that being said, um, that's all I have to say today about the Dynasty Warriors 9 empire demo uh hopefully you know we get some more info coming soon once the game releases in japan and hopefully we get to hear all the good and hopefully there isn't so much bad with that being said this has been just b hope you all enjoyed we are gonna make like daytona so let's go away peace